best dancer of you three and why? As me. Cassie's the best dancer for sure. But she's always been the best dancer. I think it's pretty self-explanatory when you see us dancing in our videos. I don't think it's much of a contest. Okay. What What's your go-to karaoke song? Why and can you belt out a line from it? Mine Ooh. is These Boots Are Made For Walking. It's a good one. Cause you can like stomp. Down, 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 That's good. Yeah, that's a good one. That's it's a good one. one. It gets the crowd going. How oh, I just hate oh, my funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's my? I like. Sorry, this is a strong opinion, but I don't love karaoke. Oh, I feel you. It's very. If weird. I get it's a lot of pressure. If I get wasted enough, I will try and belt out Wuthering Heights. That's like the hardest it's karaoke really hard. song of all time. But it's also like my favorite song, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, I treat karaoke like a sport. <laughs> and I take it very seriously. And I usually bring maracas when I do karaoke. She just has a maraca, Collection. an array of maracas in her car. Just... And I, I mean, my, so my go-to song is actually it has forever been with arms wide open. Great song. By Creed. <laughs> I'd wager to say I sing it better. I mean, the band itself. I I would say so. My yarl is. I support is, you. Your yarl is. Chef's is that kiss. a great yarl? I'm not song. even. I'm not even going to. I'm not even going. It's meant to, for the stage. It's meant for the stage. I can't do it unless I have a, a microphone <laughs> and, and a maraca and a maraca <laughs> and lyrics <laughs> and fog and a spotlight. Nice. Well, what's the longest you've gone without speaking to one another? Minutes. Yeah. <laughs> no, not, maybe not minutes, maybe like a couple hours. I feel like when I was on tour with Julian, like I didn't talk to you guys for like... Yeah, well, you, you were, we you were in the zone. zone. We didn't have an international plan. I didn't have an plan. international plan. I didn't have like really like a computer. This was like an 09, so... Void, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a void. Did yeah. Or I was void. part of the sick... The sick six. 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 Right? Mm -hmm. Six six. What's the best piece of musical advice you received from your parents? No TV. Yeah. Practice. Practice. <laughs> That's, I mean, that wasn't really advice, but it was more just like what, like we thought that, my dad said no TV so many times that we wanted to name our band No TV. <laughs> but we watched TV. We watched TV. We, we suck really at wanted it. to watch the real world, man. Yeah. What was wrong? Like, Why no TV? Because we, we wouldn't just, practice. I thought it was like a, I think we thought, we it, was thought it was a waste of time. Yeah, you're not going to learn your instrument by watching TV and not having it but in your hands. But funny enough, when I was watching TV, my dad would say, play and watch at the same time. And if you can play and still concentrate on the show, you'll be able to <laughs> sing and play at the same time. I don't know if that's the right vibe, but I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. I never said he was right, but he did tell <laughs> me to Very do that. Very angry, I guess you have to do that. But, <laughs> but it works. So what's the best and worst thing about being in a band with your sisters and, and why? Um, the best thing is that we can read each other's minds, um, and the worst thing is I hate being asked a question. <laughs> yeah. Fair. <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you on stage? I went a full, like, full half show, so like a good hour into the show with my fly down. Oh, fly down? I like fly burst down. my fly Oh yeah, uh, you, Red Rocks. you burst your fly Red Rocks. I burst we used to, we had like our whole last tour, we, we decided, I don't know why, but like our like stage uniform was like PVC pants. And like they were so sweaty, like I literally lost like 15 pounds every fucking show. And I think the last, like obviously when you're on tour, like the amount of times you eat like junk food and like crazy shit, you gain like a shit ton of weight by the end of the tour. And I remember I think on like the last thing we were like playing the drum solo. <laughs> And I like knelt down and then literally like the back of my pants like exploded. <laughs> there was like that. an explosion of my pants. And you like, thankfully like you can't, like no one can see behind me, but like I just kept going and then like skirted off the side of the stage like a cartoon character. Um, that was pretty, that's when I knew I was like, and tour is over. We're done. Your pants split. My pants split. It's weird, the same thing. The same thing didn't happen to me, but it, it was, was like the fully flip. flip. Well, I was gonna say like I was like finishing like a drum solo, and I was like so into it, and then I hit the last like the last cymbal hit, 
and I just f like fell like again yeah, cartoon like a cartoon. Like a cartoon I was like there's video of I think we were in Las Vegas I think we were playing the show in Vegas and I made it like all the way across the stage trying to catch myself and then <laughs> just fell. fell there's video of it on the internet it's, it's on great. the internet all right so how did working with Rostam and Ariel over the past two albums help your growth as songwriters and musicians what did you learn from them I just think, you know, they're great collaborators and they're great producers and I think what we all share as a unit is recording something that sounds unique and, um, yeah. We're... You shot your album cover at the one and only Panthers on yes. Fairfax, so yes. what is each of your favorite food to get at Panthers and why? My favorite food to get at Canners is definitely the matzo ball soup. I love the matzo ball soup because it's just, what can I say? Like, is there a why? Is a there, why? I mean, I do, I, I order it every time that I get, like, I feel like I need some comfort. It's like the perfect comfort food. Um, just a big ass matzo ball. <laughs> Their balls are fresh. Their yeah. balls are good. They got great balls. They got great balls. Um, <laughs> My go-to at Canners is the lox and bagel, and I get a side of eggs. That's and nice. I make a sandwich. I feel like uh, I feel like a chef when I do it because I get to put it I together. Feel like, I feel like, like a how do you say? I, I feel like chef. A chef. a chef. Capers and the onions and the you know the whole thing. Um, I go for. Pastrami Reuben. Ooh, that's good. With the black and white cookie, because you have to when you go to a deli. You gotta go to. A, they have good get, black and white. Cookies. Yeah, the black and white cookie is everything choice. made in house. Yeah, we've actually seen the bakery. The bakery for canners. And it's, it's on the. It's, it's all like in house. On the top level. It's yeah, like upstairs. It smells. There's amazing. a whole fun house behind the front of house of canners. Of canners. Huh. We live at canners. So it's fine. <laughs>